So what are you doing? Let's see here. It is 6.30 a.m. And I'm out on a little ride. I thought you might like to come along. So let's go check things out. It's a little buggy out this morning. <laughs> I've been getting bit, uh, getting the getting the quad ready, primping Pepe, <laughs> rubbing him down. You know. So I listen. I've been I've been thinking a lot and doing a little bit of research on cleaning and waxing bicycle chains because I've kind of wanted to know the best way to clean it the best way to maintain it in the best way to keep it lubricated, you know? So, I definitely think that uh, with what I found out anyway, cleaning, cleaning a chain with an ultrasonic cleaner is the best way to go. It gets it completely clean better than shaking it in a jar or, or, or you know cleaning it with a brush or you know anything like that it, in my opinion that's what it it seems like I've watched all kinds of videos and that's what I've come up with um, So, uh, oh, I kind of, I kind of ended up on the video part. I kind of ended up with uh, a guy on the uh, on YouTube, something like anti friction or something like that. Uh, they clean. It's a, a a business that cleans bike chains and waxes them for people for a price. Good morning. And. Uh, So I thought that, you know, since they do it professionally, <laughs> and they're called anti-friction, I think, <laughs> um, they should know what they're talking about. Because I watched a bunch of other videos of, you know, DIYers and stuff like that, that, that you know, think they know or know, you know, how to, how to do it their way, you know. And this guy, you know, again, is just doing it his way, but, you know, he's a pro. So that's kind of who I'm, I'm modeling this whole thing after. Anyway... And he's very technical with how he talks. So, I like that. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, so I think that's the, you know, the way I'm going to go with, uh, with cleaning the chain and, and all that stuff, you know. I think that's definitely the way they go, to go with the, uh, with um, cleaning it with an ultra, ultrasonic cleaner and we have a uh, one on sale at work for really cheap or for a good price and uh, it seems to work pretty good so we'll see um, I also found that that because uh, I was seeing it, these guys using all kinds of different combinations of uh, like mineral spirits and denatured alcohol and you know I don't know turpentine whatever uh, one guy had uh, uh, petrol he used gas so um, and I'm sure all that stuff works just fine you know I'm, I'm sure of it the um, 
the old guy that I, I watched that, that was using petrol, um, he had a whole, I mean, a whole bunches of steps. He did it for like two days, waxing his chain. And, but the reason he did that is because he was just an old retired guy and, you know, he was tinkering around in the garage with his, with his chain. He made it beautiful, you know, and then, and it was for a recumbent also. And, uh, you know, I'm sure his, his chains are, you know, just amazing. Because <laughs> he took his sweet time and made sure everything was just so. I learned, you know, I learned some stuff from him. Um, that maybe this other guy doesn't know about, you know what I mean? Who knows? I haven't gotten to the, the waxing part of this guy, this new guy's uh, vlog, but uh, I want to see. We'll, we'll see what happens. Anyway, so uh, I found out uh, I found out that using like a regular degreaser kind of stuff will leave a film on uh, you know, somewhat of a film on your uh on your chain that you don't want. I mean, you wash it off and everything, but still. So, the best thing is mineral spirits and denatured alcohol. In that order. Mineral spirits and then denatured alcohol. And then um, to clean it in the ultra ultrasonic cleaner. What that does is it'll take, you know, it, grease and grime and muck off of it, but also the, uh, I, I didn't realize this either, um, the oil that comes on the, uh, the chain when you get it isn't the best for it, so you need to take that off before you put a brand new chain on, on your bike or trike or quad or whatever it is. Um, I didn't know that. I had no idea. But this guy is such a professional. He's like, here's why. He gives reasons for everything. It's it's awesome. That's instead of just saying, this is why I think you, you're, or this is what I think you should use. He says, this is what you should use, and here's why. Good morning. Which is the way I like people to tell me. Instead of just saying, this is my opinion, you know. I want you to tell me why. <laughs> so, anyway. So, I learned that. So, I'm going to... My, my Here's my plan. And I know, you know, this is me. So, it's a little nuts. But, here's my plan. I'm going to get a brand new set of... Ch what does that sound? I wonder what that is. Anyway, all right. So, I'm going to set. F Morning. I'm going to get, uh, I think, three sets of chains. I'm going to get for on the bike. I'm going to get a set for in the trunk. So if for some reason I'm out on the road and I break a chain and lose it or just break a chain and I don't, you know, I don't want to put that old chain, it's bent or whatever, um, I have a brand new chain that uh, in, the, in the trunk for each one of them that's cut to length. Then um, I'll have one at home as well, ready to go. So... What I'll do is I'll clean them all first and wax them all. So every one of them all is all clean perfectly and then waxed. And then I'll go and uh, 
I'll put one on, on the quad and one on Steven's trike. And then I'll put... Uh, put the rest, like I said. I'll have them in their box, in one in the garage and, and back in the box. And I'll have one in um, on board here in the trunk. So then... When I need my chain cleaned and waxed again, which should be in, you know, quite a while, not very soon, um, I can just take one off and put a pre-waxed one that I already did right on it, and then uh, I can just swap those two out, you know, rotate those two in. You know, when I take the old chains off, I'll just put those in the ultrasonic cleaner and, and, um, on the quad, I'll have brand new wax chains. So I won't have to wait that period, because who knows how long it's going to take me to clean and wax the chains. I don't know. Anyway, so that's what I plan on doing. Now, when that happens, <laughs> stay tuned. But uh, that's what I plan on doing. I want to get that, because uh, I think that'll really um, make this thing run a lot better, a whole lot better. And I want to get to that point now. Now that I've got it where I can take it out pretty much every single day if I want. Um, without having mechanical problems. Now I want to get it efficient and running very well. And get a, get a hopefully get some kind of schedule going where I can um, maintain it. And for me, the first part of that whole thing is researching what way is the best. So that's what I come up with. And I'll let you guys know when, you know, when I get all this stuff put together and, and figure it out. The next thing I'll have to figure out is uh, what wax I need to use. I've got a couple of waxes uh because I've done that before, I've looked, I've looked into this a little bit before, and, and uh, found a couple of waxes. But then this guy, this old guy, I was talking about um, on uh, on YouTube uh, was talking about this. I don't, I forget what it was. It was like 1.5 something PTE. Uh, uh, lubricating wax or I don't know what it was it, it was this stuff that, it, that was like real he, he kept saying it's real fine powder it's real fine so um, I'm going to try to find that because he, he had some real good input on the on the uh, on lubricating stuff you know and then I'll go uh, uh, kind of go back and forth between him and the the real professional dude you know see what he has to say about it but you know we'll see I'll tell you what combination I come up with at the end you know then I'll tell you my opinion <laughs> like I usually do but I'll tell you why so you know This, thing's need, this thing needs to be maintained a bit. I need to throw it up on the rack or up on the table and uh... oh no, I wanted to go the other way. What am I doing? I wanted to go down uh, Floresta the other way. I did this yesterday, this route, and I liked it. I go down to Jessica Clinton Park first and I don't usually do that that's usually my last stop so I go down there first and then I come back and I go down that new loop that I started the new little route extended route that I like so much I added that in afterwards and then go all the way around to Bayshore and then back to Port St. Lucie Boulevard so the whole big loop I do, and it's it's uh, it's a good one. It's so before I added 
the little loop up front or up top by uh, Prima Vista I had to do a couple of loops or, or you know around uh, to get two hours or two and a half hours in and uh, now it's pretty much just what I'm doing now just the outside loop and then up and up that uh, uh, new little loop up by Prima Vista so um, it takes me a little under two hours to do that so all I really need to do is kind of you know go willy-nilly instead of straight through and it'll take me two hours or so if that made any sense I hope it did anyway I've got the the route down now is, is the point I guess There's Alley Park. Been, uh, I've noticed that I've been uh, riding a little faster lately in the past few days. Than I was. I, I think that's that's the deal. That you go through uh, kind of phases or something. You know, you go fast for a while and then you don't for a few rides, and then you start slowing down, and then you you realize, hey, it's fun going fast too, and then you go, you start going fast for a few rides. I think that's what what happens here. Those are my thoughts. Yeah, something needs to be aligned or lubed or something in the wheel. Or tightened. Something. Because <laughs> something's rubbing. Rubbing and clicking. So, anyway, I'm kind of uh, going back to waxing, cleaning and waxing the chain. I'm kind of excited about doing it, doing the whole process and, and seeing how it uh, comes out. Because if everyone is right, I mean, everybody that, that uh, cleans the chain well and, and waxes a chain, just hot waxes a chain, just um, really swears by it and just, you know, lives by it. It's like a religion, you know. And I just want to see what that means, you know, what that looks like, what it feels like to get it like that, you know. Good morning.
Heard a doggy barking. Definitely not like the new sidewalk here on Floresta. It is definitely an improvement, that's for sure. And sometimes they make it nice and wide, so that's nice too. Let's have one of those, uh, one of those flowered, yeah, there they are. Man, that smells good. I don't know what that flower is called, what that plant is called, but it smells real nice. Somebody kind of in the way.
is so much fun. Oh man, right when I say that. <laughs> All right, you guys. Listen, I appreciate you guys coming along with me. I hope you had a good time. Make sure you like and subscribe and, and share my videos if you like them. And make comments. And I hope you have a good day or night or morning or whatever it is, wherever you're from. And I'll see you next time.